Welcome to Battle Scrap Season 3. I'm Dominic. I'm Maria. And we are Team Yo's Financial from Maryland. Battle Scraps is brought to you by Seymour Deer Seed Blends, Lulich Implement, White River Egg Products, and Big Rock Outdoor Productions. Hello and welcome to Battle Scraps Season 3. I'm Peter Michael. Well, the big news this year is that the competition was open to anyone from any state. And that'll give us all a good look at different hunting styles all over the country. In just a moment, we'll meet the teams. But after that, we'll get right into the action this year and follow some teams on their preseason preparation. Then we'll meet back here for some juicy details about the show. I might be exaggerating a little bit, but I'll see you in 10. With that, let's meet the competition. Oh, well, I started hunting probably, well, I'd go out with my dad, I guess, when I was 11 or 12 and walk slews and pick up the deer, but I've been hunting since I was about 13 years old and I started pheasant hunting. I've been hunting most of my life. I was in my mom's belly when she was elk hunting. I've been hunting, bow hunting since I was probably 12. Me and Chris, we go out coyote hunting in winter and pheasant hunting, you know, do a little bit of everything. Um, I started at a young age, five years old, squirrel hunting with my dad, which progressed to deer hunting. Um, killed my first deer when I was six with a gun and then started bow hunting when I was 14. I've been hunting for three years, but I'm gonna say this is my first serious year hunting with Dominic. Killed my first buck or first deer with a bow when I was 14. And then from there, I just got the fever and bow hunting ever since. My thoughts are that this should be a good season due to the fact that we've got good food, we've got good water, and we've got some deer on our property that are worthy of uh, spending time chasing, so. My expectation for me and Maria this year is to take our hunt to new levels and challenges and also to highlight our home state and show the whole country that ordinary hardworking people like me and Maria can be on battle scraps too. I expect to have a successful hunting season with Dominic. I hope to have a lot of fun in the woods, but to be honest, I do want to kill my biggest buck this season on battle scraps. Uh, that was on season one and season two of battle scraps. I was thinking about going solo this year, then Joe ended up wanting to try it with a partner. We're uh, pretty excited this year about season three battle scraps. Uh, like I say, we watched the last season one and season two. Uh, hopefully, uh, we can bring a lot of different aspects to it this year. Like I say, we're uh, going to be hunting some different game. I'm going to be trying to get uh, a bear on camera this year. Yeah, I guess um, the anticipation is um, to get our food plots in, see how our food plots get growing, um, hunt those corridors to the food plots. Um, I think we probably both have some special ridges where we know the deer move on and we hunt scrape lines. I like to bounce around, hunt deer all over, 50, 60 mile circle, pretty easy. Enjoy it bouncing around. Well, I definitely got high expectations, especially I know we have a lot of deer out where we hunt. And it's just a matter of getting them within range and getting everything on camera is the big thing now. And I'm just here to really save the memories of hunting and bring it to my family and always have that. I think the biggest challenge for me and Maria this year is going to be to get into that tree and outsmart one of those old white-tailed deer. With two of us in the tree and a camera, sometimes it's almost impossible. Hunting together, we've only videoed what maybe three years together. Yeah. 
So it's going to be a bit of a challenge, especially doing it behind the camera for uh, battle scripts. Hunting actually together, 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 and filming all this is, I mean, this is exciting. First time for me ever even being on camera. But, uh, Man, getting used to the camera, that's the toughest thing. Uh, getting used to the camera is pretty tough for me. Uh, just having the camera on you all the time, 24 7, while you're in the woods. And, uh, just preparation for that alone is tough. I may just see Craig's food plot. He's the farmer, that's what's in his blood. Mine might be dirt. <laughs> uh, and hope to see some of the bucks that I've passed up the last couple of years. Yeah, and get it up in you. There you go. As far as getting that big buck in range, that's Dominic's job right here, and then I'll be able to take it from there. Uh, what we're going to try to do is uh, try to educate the people on what what we have uh, learned through the season and what mistakes we have made through the season. You know, it's a good experience. You know, not everybody gets to film their hunts and have the chance to be on a TV show and all that. So. I think it's pretty neat and I'm definitely excited for it. Yeah, me as well. I'm, I never thought I'd be doing it, but I'm glad the opportunity came and we jumped on it. So we're here and we're going to try our best. We're the one and only North Dakota team. Kind of excited and uh, next step is to get out there and uh, spend some time out in the field and, and see if we can get one of those beautiful whitetail bucks to become the star of our show. It'll be fun. Hope you stick with us and see how the season goes. This segment of Battle Scraps is brought to you by Seymour Deer Seed Blends. sets in and hide the cameraman and hide the hunter and get away with this. Uh, we're really looking forward to all the things we got planned this year. We got a lot of things planned. We hope you tune in to us on Facebook and Battle Scrap Season 3. This is our third plot. We got another one to do. And we just hung up our tree stands. This is the areas all ready. We had to water it because of the drought. We got a pump going, we watered it for about an hour and a half, so we be good to go. Team Perkins here, planting some Seymour deer seed. Just got our food plot all dug up. Try it out. Hopefully we get some rain because our water pump went to hell. We got our first pot up there growing, so we're going to give her a try. Outside, but uh, we got to get out here and check our cameras. Uh, we got about two weeks before the season. We put a lot of hard work in, and nothing's come easy, as you can see. Just climbing the tree stand for the first time this season. It's not hunting season, it's not whitetail season just yet. We're just checking sets right now. That's the season for us. We're amped, we're ready to go. Love if you all been following us along. As you can see through the clips prior to this interview, we've been putting in a lot of hard work here in Maryland trying to get it done. We're Team Yost Financial. We're going to be on Battle Scrap Season 3 this year. This is Maria. I'm Dominic. As you can see, she didn't just stand around and look pretty. She uh, did just as much work as I did, what she was able to do physically anyway. But we, we're really excited about Battle Scrap this year. And uh, I don't know about Maria, but uh, the way she's been shooting that bow, I don't think too many deer even want to walk out in front of her. I know I wouldn't if I was a deer, but uh, 
anyway, just stick with us, follow us through our season, check out the hard work. Sometimes it don't always work out the way we want it to work out, but there's one thing we can say, we put in our work. I don't know about you guys, but I'm kind of excited. And I just wanted to take a moment to thank all the teams for all their efforts this year. It's going to be a fun season. Okay, as I alluded to, there's a lot going on this year and we'll be trying out some new segments, one of which we'll introduce next week. But one is a segment where we'll try to have a little fun with footage from the show. Some of it will be editing fun, some of it will be filming goofs, and some of it I don't even know yet. But all of it will be total BS. So here's your first Total BS Clip of the Week. Okay, what's it like filming and hunting together? Hunting actually together, 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 get together, 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 and filming now. This is, I mean, this is together, together, get together, 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 together. Oh, okay, I'm going to stop you there. We'll just move on. So what do you think? Well, as always, make sure you head on over to Facebook to answer the question of the week or just let us know how we're doing. Now also this year, we're going to try to put out a short behind the scenes type video every week or two on Mondays. They'll run about three to five minutes unless we include a bonus hunt or something like that. But the goal is to have short previews of the next episode, information on the competition for future potential competitors, insights on how to film a hunt, or how the production works, and really anything that we just don't have time to talk about on the show itself. It's kind of like supplemental insurance. You may not need to watch it, but you'll be really glad you did when you do. So check it out. Okay, I think we're done here. Episode one is over, but we've got a preview of next week. For everyone here at Battle Scraps, I'm Peter Michael, and thank you for watching season three. Pretty hands up, it's opening day here. Oh.